you, David. And good evening. My name is Jim Milanazzo, and I'm number six on the ballot this year running for election. As most of the candidates have indicated already what the role of the city council is, it really is to hire the city manager, the city auditor, and the city clerk, also work on the budget, and really set policy and direction uh, for the city. And since we're talking really more budget issues this evening, it's really remarkable that the budget book, which I did bring with me, is over 300 pages. And it is a performance-based budget. It does set goals for the city going forward. It talks about our capital plan. It talks about our debt service and what we uh, are interested in improving, especially our infrastructure. And the role of the council is to look at that. We had a $24 million bond requested for the Lowell Regional Water Plan uh, over the last 30 days. And through the efforts of the city council, we dropped that down to $10,450,000. And at the time when the first number was brought to us, $24 million, our water rates were going to go in, go up, they were going to be increased. We're now not looking at a water increase based upon what I really do consider good government, not till the year 2015. Our residential tax rate is $14.27. I would, I would say to all of you, and, and it's been mentioned that our assessments have gone down, but Lowell is a wonderful city to live in. Yes, we have to increase our economic, our, our commercial tax base. We do have the Hamilton Canal project. It was mentioned earlier, we developed much more over the Hamilton Canal. We have 144 units now of artists with workspace. We have a little a community health center that's going in to 100,000 square feet. And we're just generating the potential of the courthouse through the good work. I see Representative Golden here. The courthouse is still on track to get done. So that whole part of the downtown from a commercial standpoint is going to grow and expand and take some pressure off the residential uh, tax base. But in what really is a global economy downturn, this city has been able to get our, our uh, upgrade, Moody's has upgraded our, our uh, future and we're now looking at a five-year forecast and it's all very positive. So thank you. Appreciate your report. Glad to be here again this evening. Uh, thank you to the neighborhood groups. Uh, my name is, again, Jim Molinazzo, and I've had the good fortune, the very good fortune to serve as the mayor for the last two years, and it has been very hard work. In fact, John Leahy and I are leaving here this evening to go to contract negotiations over the school department, which will probably go until 10 or 11 o'clock this evening. Um, but I, I really do feel that uh, working hard to really improve the quality of life here in our city is what I've been all about. I like to continue to put my private sector experience, I've been in the banking field for close to 15 years to put my private banking experience along with my eight years on the city council to, to good use, to continue to improve law, to improve the quality of life, to make sure the government is open and transparent. I'm very proud of the vote that I took on this budget. I voted for this budget. I voted for the budget a couple of years ago, or last year and the year before that. And I just think it's important that as one of our main functions that we ask the right questions and we take the appropriate uh, vote to make sure that your services are being delivered the way you expect them to be delivered. Again, Jim Mullen, I'm number 16 of the house.